Hey everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel with answering questions through our interact button on our app. And today I've just got three very individual isolated questions that came in I wanna quickly answer. Relating in this series on set in stone, there's a connection there. So they're kind of standalones, but super quick. I'm gonna read them really quick, answer them real quick. Somebody said this, God is a jealous God. It seems that jealousy is considered something not positive. So is there a difference between this biblical jealousy I spoke of and the kind that we as humans deal with. Let me just say this about jealousy. We apply jealousy here to more how humans react in a jealous fashion, but God is a jealous God. It comes from the heart. God loves his people, you, me, so, so much that when he sees us giving our affection, our adoration, our worship to something else, he's like, don't do that. I want your whole heart because I'm wholehearted for you. So the emotion of I am jealous is because God wants it all. Now, the negative of jealousy in our culture is more that we see people behave in a way that's not healthy in reaction to jealousy. But God's jealousy is because he loves you so, so much that when he sees you giving your affection to something else, of course he feels a jealousy because he wants the best for you. Next one, super quick. Someone then said, you quoted the verse. It says, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Can this relate to people I thought we were not to hate? The scripture says, hate what is evil, not hate who is evil. De defines that. So in this context, the hating what is evil is that godless behavior, godless actions, godless or self-centeredness. Let's have a, an attitude is I want so much that is good and cling to so much good. The opposite end of the swing there is to hate what is not good. So it's a language to help us. It does not apply to hate people, does not apply to hate what is evil, not hate who is evil in that sense. We are called to love God with everything and love our neighbors. And that includes those who are not like us, which are love them. The Lord Jesus established that. Hey, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. So just to clarify that one. And then the third other one, another question related to the scriptures was, I quoted that in the Remembering the Sabbath, Moses goes to Pharaoh and he says repeatedly before the plagues each time and says, hey, the Lord God says, let my people go so that they may worship me. And someone said, some translations use the word, let my people go so they may serve me in the desert. What's the right word? Worship me, serve me. I did all my research around this. I even have a, a Jewish study Bible that is specifically for Jewish people and in different ways, a Tanakh. And when you look at that root word, the root word really is more related to worship me because worship has got everything when we are free to bring our everything to the Lord. And so someone's question is it, let my people go so they can serve me. No, remember they were slaves in Egypt and God desires for his people to be free. And one of the ultimate expressions of freedom is we can approach the Lord with freedom, lay ourselves open before him and worship him with everything. And if we are living in a sense of slavery, we cannot do that. And so I don't believe the Lord was saying, hey, let my people go so they can just serve me. But don't forget, serving the Lord is part of our worship, you know. And so New Testament context, therefore, in view of God's mercy, offer yourselves as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Your whole life is an act of worship. But I believe that context of Moses going to Pharaoh, his people needed to be set free because his people, we were created to worship and that worship in freedom. So I believe that was the drive behind that text. Three random ones today, super quick. I hope that answers some of your questions. If you have more related to that, put in a comment in response to this, send me a message. See you all Sunday.